Anyways, enough, enough, enough. Moving on. Oh, I didn't want to close that. Maybe still wanted to talk about it. We'll see. Very briefly, I wanted to talk about the Ethan Klein thing. I I saw everything I've, I've seen about Ethan Klein in the past month has been against my will. And I said it earlier in stream, but after I think like that one video that the, the, the YouTuber uh, uh, Casey, Comrade Casey put out, I think it like broke Ethan Klein's brain because it was... It was low-key, a little bit of a hit, hit piece. North Star Radio, yeah. Um, the video talking about why H3 broke up. Or it's not H3. Uh, the reason why um, Leftovers broke up. And he basically said, you know, Ethan Klein wanted to be a Zionist and he didn't want to be pushed on being a Zionist and that's it, right? Short summary. Short summary. Please go watch the video. I actually think the video was pretty well done. Even if you disagree with what's inside of the video... I thought it was a good video overall, but it was also well done. And I think that video especially just like broke his brain a little because then he went on and talked about how like, actually Leftovers ended because I couldn't handle Hassan's crazy fan base. I couldn't handle Hassan's crazy fan base. And I think unintentionally, Ethan Klein kind of gave himself Hassan derangement syndrome, but I think he is convincing himself that he can make fun of Hassan's audience long enough that Hassan will say something but Hassan doesn't give a fuck because there are more important things to talk about than this uh and from my understanding Ethan Klein uninstalled Twitter or he deactivated his account or something like he said he was Twitter wasn't good for him and he didn't want to use it anymore or it was like a waste of time for him so he didn't want to use it anymore I'm sure you guys saw this um, and I don't go on Instagram. I am trying to be better about going on Instagram, to be better about posting on Instagram, but I'm, I'm really bad at it. I even turned on notifications to force me to go on Instagram. I like, I, I've been trying to use Instagram for, how long has it been out? Since it came out, basically. And he's been doing this shit like every couple days he scrolls on twitter i guess on like a burner account and then he screenshots something he doesn't like or maybe he searches his name and then he talks about it on his instagram story it's so weird to me i don't understand yeah i genuinely i don't get it um here's like one such example this one i just thought was like kind of crazy this is from October 4th, but he's been doing this like every couple days. And every time I see it on my Twitter feed, I'm like, he's still scrolling Twitter, searching his name. Jesus, just post on Twitter again. <laughs> if you're just going to screenshot everything and post it on Instagram, just go back to using Twitter. <laughs> this is so bizarre to me. But this is one example of this person saying my life as a Jew would be better if Israel didn't exist. And then he says, uh, very brave. Ela wouldn't exist because both sides of her grandparents would have been killed in their native countries for being Jewish. Israel was the only place in the world they could escape to. Glad it would be better for you, though. Which, by the way, this is not true. Israel was not the only place that they could escape to. There are, are multiple Arab states that provided um, refuge for Israelis, or not Israelis, Jewish people trying to escape the Holocaust. This is, you, literally, you can just fucking look this up. This, this is not, it's so stupid. Anyways, he's a, uh, I think this, this person really hits the nail on the head. Is that the saying? Do you think he has an inkling of an idea? Do you think he has even an inkling of an idea that, quote, well, I don't care if your life would be better, mine would be worse, end quote, is very revealing of how he thinks generally, LMAO. Like, it's very weird. It's very, very, very weird. Why do Zionists act like you're the only group? They were the only group that was targeted during the Holocaust. Anytime you bring that up, they're the, uh, bring that up if you're a part of the other group, they say some other Hitler-like bullshit. Well, I mean, I think it's fair for um, 
Israelis to talk about the fact that the Holocaust was against Jewish people. Everybody else also that wasn't Aryan was thrown in there too. But a lot of the propaganda uh, that justified the genocide was absolutely against Jews and how they're ruining the world, usury and all this other shit. So I think it's fair. I think it's totally fair. Did they also kill gay people? Yeah. Did they also kill like brown and black people that weren't Aryan? Yeah. Did they kill Romani people? Yeah, of course. But a lot of the propaganda was about the Jews, just like it's about it now, right? Just like today, there are still conspiracy theories about how Jews control everything, which is bullshit. That's not obviously not what's happening. Oh, and then they also, sorry, very frequently forgotten group, which I, in my listing, did not include disabled people were also targeted by uh, Nazis because, shocker, it's not part of the ideal eugenics world. We have to have only the best people, right? So and if you were not able-bodied, uh, Aryan or Aryan presenting because there were actually Jews that, um, or people who were, who had uh, uh, like a Jewish parent, one Jewish parent who looked Aryan and were able to flee the nation or help uh, other Jewish people flee uh, the active zones because they looked German. Because surprise, surprise, again, eugenics is nonsense, all that other shit. Which, as a sidebar, really quick, I will never forgive insane Thanos motherfuckers for taking eugenics and making it into we need to kill all the undesirables instead of, oh... Eugenics should be, hey, let's t try and stop as many bad things from happening. Living with sickle cell disease is not very fun. I've spoken to people who live with sickle cell disease. It's not very fun. It's a lot of going to the hospital. Maybe instead we should help cure this problem so no one else ever has to deal with sickle cell disease. That people that we can eradicate the world of this illness going forward. Not go and kill all the people who have sickle cell disease. What the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Why does that have to be what eugenics means? Why? I don't understand. Ugh. Anyways, just a sidebar. Hate that that is what it is. Hate Happy that people month, Denon, in love. D despise uh, uh, disabled people instead of trying to help. It's crazy to me. Like CRISPR, I think that's a, a good example. Yeah. Like, anyways, anyways getting, getting too distracted. Um, back to the point that I was trying to make. Here it was. Most recently, this is like on his Instagram story now. Uh, it's like all this KSI bullshit. I don't know any of this shit, dude. I don't follow KSI. I'm going to be honest. I don't. I don't know. But, but he posted this one 13 hours ago. <laughs> Five weeks after the original video came out. He's still posting about it. I saw, I think, this um, Hassan Piker subreddit post on my timeline on Twitter. The description is, Ethan is just punching the air at this point. And it's a photo of, sorry, the original Instagram story is Ethan Klein screenshotted a post from H3H3 Productions, uh, his subreddit with his fans. And it says... Being an H3 listener cost me a $20 tip. Skull emoji. And they go on to say, I do cannabis delivery for a living. The other day I rolled up to this dude's house and he's casually asking me questions about my job. We're chopping it up for a while. That's something people say, we're chopping it up for a while. Is that a... Who? I've never heard that in my life. Is that a specific... When you make shit up, is that? 
You have to stop. Make me, bitch. Um. Anyways, it's just yapping. Just means chatting. Okay. Shooting the shit. All right. And I really enjoyed his energy. We were having a great convo. At one point, he asked if I listen to podcasts or music when I drive. And I told him podcasts, to which he replied by asking me which podcast. And of course, I said H3. Of course. Obviously. <laughs> Dude, no one wants to chat up their weed delivery driver for more than five minutes. They want to go smoke. <laughs> so, uh, it depends. If they're from the South, I feel like Southern people love talking. Okay. They love to, those are, those are the fucking yappers. The yappers. Anyways, moving on. <clears throat> as soon as I mentioned H3, his face dropped and the chill vibe had vanished. He didn't say anything but ah, in a judgy tone, LMAO. I asked him what he listened to out of awkwardness and he said Hassan Abi. Dude, this is such a me cue. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm allowed to say that because this is a fake post. Uh, obviously, it's a fake post. Uh, but this is such, this is fanfic for sure. And then they became lovers, okay? F enemies to lovers, dude. This is the story. Here it is. Someone go write some more fanfic about this so I can go read it. Um, this ser Seriously, like Romeo and Juliet. Anyways, I responded with, oh, I like him too. But the vibe was already dead. <laughs> there was no way to get back to that fun energy we had just 10 seconds prior. He got really cold and short with me. So I just did my best to finish the interaction as quickly as possible. Throughout the convo, he had a $20 bill in his hand that I thought he might have been, that I thought might have been a tip for me. But at the end of the transaction, he just put the cash in his pocket and when it went inside, being an H3 friend really cost me a tip. My favorite podcast, Hassan Abi. <laughs> <laughs> is every Hassan follower expected to go over the top with some kind of fake virtue signaling or I don't know what he's getting at I don't either and then he cried and then everyone cried <laughs> I okay sorry just really quickly just really quickly can I say one comment can I say one comment besides the fact that this is fanfic this is just customer service <laughs> Draco Kid, thank you for the four months. This is just customer service. When you work a customer service job, you might, in an attempt to be friendly and earn a tip, say something that the other person really doesn't like. And then they don't want to tip you anymore. That's just literally how, like, that's the basis of cu customer service everywhere. If you told a Trump voter, I fucking hate Trump, they're probably also not going to tip you. Like, it's just, I don't understand. Why is, why is he saying? Okay, so then, anyway, so Ethan Klein posts on his Twitter this, this image of this uh, Reddit post. And he says, these are Hassan's woke socialist audience withholding $20 from working class people because they listen to a podcast they don't like. Time for the re-education camp. <laughs> this motherfucker never shuts up oh my god whoa twitch user pad avox did you consider that you are saying that to a jewish man who is neurodivergent and trying to speak against the anti-semitism that happens which anti-semitism does happen every day but bringing up anti-Semitism in a conversation where we're talking about Palestinians being murdered. Okay. <laughs> this one was so crazy. It almost feels like satire. Yeah. Not tipping your legal weed dealer is woke anti-Semitism. I just don't. I just don't understand this, dude. This is such a 2016 era and then everyone clapped, asked story. Might as well have said, and then he asked me if I play video games and I said, yeah, I have an Xbox. And then he said, oh, I'm a PlayStation fan. And he withheld my tip. It's just, I don't understand. 
it, the only thing that's missing in here is like I needed the $20 tip for my grandma who's dying of five different types of cancers. Like Also calling these Hassan's woke socialist audiences <laughs> audience members so weird. It's just so weird. A particularly heinous form of woke socialism called Hassan woke socialism. I just don't get it. It's so confusing to me. Also, apparently people have DoorDash for Ethan Klein and he's literally only tipped $2 for stuff. I'm not surprised. I'm not even a little surprised. I mean, he's the type of guy that will bring up why co-ops can't work and when explained how the co-op can work. He's like, well, I don't want to talk about this anymore with my workers here anyway. So. I just feel like I should make all the money. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Like, he's a capitalist, dude. Of course he's a capitalist. I don't, I just... I know I've only said this a million times, by the way. I don't understand being rich, having a family, having a wife and kids, plural, and choosing to spend your time being insane on the internet. Like, he just needs to get on, do his podcast, and log off. And then he can go do whatever the fuck else he wants. And this is what he wants to do. This is how he wants to spend his time. That's so insane to me. I get off stream and I go and play like video games or I go outside and I do stuff. It's actually a problem where I want to spend more time researching. I want to spend more time looking into things. I want to spend more time broadening my horizons on stuff that I don't know a lot about. I want to spend more time looking at different perspectives and I just don't spend enough time doing that because I like hanging out with my friends <laughs> and having fun. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I'm just so confused. <gasps> He's Elon coded, to be honest. I think it's just the in insecurity and chronic being chronically online. Yeah. Ludwig has a co-op, is still rich, does cool events, and is way more level-headed about shit. Well, yeah, I mean, Ludwig is also smart. Right? I also, to be clear, to be clear, I think this is pathetic because he's doing it on his Instagram story, and you don't make any money off of Instagram stories. If he was doing this on his show, I'd be like, dude, content is content. I got respect for the game. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Hey, you're make, you're fucking making money. You're getting on your show. You're spending a few hours doing some shit. People are donoing. People are gifting. You're getting views. You're making ad rev. Yeah, sure. You're, you're working your job, right? But you're not even doing this for money. This is just mental illness. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Even if it was a reel, I'd be like, okay, yeah, sure, an Instagram reel, sure, why not? Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? I just don't understand. I just... Yeah. No words. No words. Because it's mental illness, you answered your own question. You think he just doesn't like... Ha no, he probably is just stubborn. Because the other problem is when you... It's, it's someone described it as the Elon Musk problem where like sometimes your head is just so far up your own ass that other people try and suggest, hey, maybe you shouldn't spend all your free time uh, being terminally online. And then you're like, I think I know best. <laughs> people watch my YouTube videos, which means I know what I'm doing around here. All right. Scorned ex podcaster. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate to be this person, okay? But, uh, 
Swinks. Sorry, I was looking at something else. Um, dude, move on. She just doesn't like you like that anymore. He just doesn't like you like that anymore, man. It's over. It ended. Let it go, man. Let it go. Okay? Be happy that it happened. Not sad that it's over, man, okay? She's left you on red too many times. You gotta move on. All right? Also has a habit of hiring fans who become dependent on him and get grossly sycophantic. I mean, I don't know about that allegation, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I thought what we had was special. <laughs> How can you just move on? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Also, sorry. The, <laughs> the, Hassan, the Hassan Abi heads in the subreddit. Ethan is right here. Tipping culture, culture is one of Marx's key pillars of socialism. He clearly reads theory. <laughs> you start at tankies. Next thing you know, you're using woke as a pejorative. Ethan used to make fun of people like this on Leftovers. When you start calling people woke, you've lost the plot. I physically recoil and cringe when I hear people under 80 say it. Yeah. 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 There's a bunch of people saying, like, this is cringe. Oh, look, somebody talking about this. This is actually pretty decent. Wait, one second. I've talked about this before. I'm from Morocco, which had the highest population of Jewish people out there of any Arab country prior to 1947. Plenty of those Jewish people who left for Israel came back to say that they were sold a pipe dream, that they were, were told their lives were in danger if they stayed surrounded by Muslims. Reality is their lives as uh, Mizrahi Jews in Israel was significantly worse than anything they experienced back home. They lived next to Next door to Muslims, communities with them significantly contributed to local culture, worked alongside everyone regardless of religion. And also a lot of the uh, policies that caused Jewish people to move to Israel were things enacted by uh, France because it had colonized uh, Morocco, Algeria, Algeria, and uh, Tunis. So a lot of the anti-Semitic behavior in a lot of these Arab countries was caused by European powers. Shocker, I know, crazy. And actually, Arab people don't want to just kill all of the Jews? Despite how many people tell you that? And then they'll bring up uh, the Hamas charter of like 1986 or something. And they're like, um... Did you see this? It's like, oh, the people in captivity who have been in an open air prison, who have not been able to leave or have unfettered access to the land that they used to live on, grew to hate their oppressors. Whoa, that's crazy. That's insane. Wow, what a shocking turn of events. That the military religious faction that you guys helped bring to power was a religious military faction. Unbelievable. That's crazy that that, that happened. So, anyways. Anyways. They're already doubling down on revisionism, saying Muslims were a pivotal role in enabling the Holocaust. Yeah, it's like, dude... No, they fucking weren't, man. No, they fucking weren't. No, they weren't. Jesus. Anywho. But unfortunately, if you ever try and say any of the stuff that I'm saying, people will claim and people will say, oh, yeah, well, 
you know, Arab people have a lot of problems. You know, there's a lot of problems in Muslim nations. Why don't you go talk to someone there? It's like, dude, I've been to Muslim nations. All right. You think they don't know? You think I don't know? You don't care about those issues. You're just bringing them up to um, make yourself feel good about Israel and about Western powers, dude. A common point I hear is that the Arabs drove the Jews away, which is just not accurate. In Algeria, the War of Independence had a great role to play after, uh, sorry, had a great role to play because after Algeria, sorry, after independence, Algeria said everyone could stay, but many Jewish people left opting for French citizenship because, you know, it's a richer country. Yes. Yes. And this one also, yes. Uh, uh, Muhammad V reportedly refused to sign off on efforts by Vichy uh, officials to impose uh, anti-Jewish legislation upon Morocco and deport the country's 250,000 Jews to their deaths in Nazi concentration camps and extermination camps in Europe. They even acknowledged this in the Times of Israel a couple months ago. Shocking, right? President praises uh, Muhammad V, who made North African country into a safe haven from Nazi persecution during World War II. Thanks, current uh, monarch, for supporting community and education. Like, when the Times of Israel is reporting, which I know the Times of Israel is left-leaning, but when the Times of Israel is reporting on something, like, this is from 2022, about how uh, President Herzog had thanked the Moroccan king for providing a safe haven for Jews and not sending Jews to their fucking death camps. Wow, that's crazy. It's almost like this narrative that all the Arabs and Muslims around them just want to kill them. Is false? Maybe? Crazy? Maybe? Dude, I mean, like, I've... Not to get anecdotal, but I'm going to get anecdotal. All right. Times of Israel isn't left-leaning. Oh, am I thinking of Herod's? I might be thinking of Herod's. Um, like, my mom is Moroccan. My mom has told me about this shit and has told me about France's occupation and how Morocco had tried their best to provide safe haven to Jewish people and how... Uh, uh, what is it called? Um, that the prophet does not teach us to hate our neighbors. That the prophet Muhammad, he did his best to be the best he could to all of his neighbors, regardless of how they treated him, regardless of what religious affiliation they were. He had love and care for every, you know, one of God's children. And that is how you are meant to treat the people around you. Whoa, love thy neighbor <laughs> in an Abrahamic religion? Unheard of. <laughs> right? It's just so stupid. It's just like, come on, man. Oh, my God. But sure, keep peddling the narrative that all Arabs and all Muslims, they just want to kill all the Jews. Go go for it, man. Haaretz or ha Haaretz. It's a glottal stop. Two A sounds. Ah, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Same in Iran. I mean, yeah, I mean... And also, people love to forget that, like, there is such a thing as an Arab Jew. And people love to forget that there is such a thing as Arab Christians. Like, there are a lot of nations that are not just 100% Muslim. It's just, so, it's just so bizarre. And it's so bizarre to me to, like, frame things as, like, picking teams when these are just people. These are just people trying to live. So... Um, anywho, anywho, moving on. I just wanted to talk about that briefly because I just think it's like, it's kind of sad that it's still happening. I thought he would stop by like, like a week or two ago. I hadn't seen anything for like, I think about a week actually. And I was like, I think he's finally done. I think he's moved past it. I think he's, he's on the final stage of grief acceptance. But I, it's good to see that he's still talking about Hassan's woke socialist audience that are withholding $20 from the working class people. And he's still spiraling. Okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool.
cool, cool, cool. 